All right, in this next episode of uh, jQuery Rehab, we're going to talk about how to use uh, or how to build a replacement for the each method that you get in jQuery. So I have here a very simple web page with the main element and a few paragraphs inside of it. And with jQuery in our script, with the jQuery script loaded, in our script, we're going to be using the dollar sign selector to target all three paragraphs. That's going to be this variable here. Then what we want to do is we want to loop through and do something with each one of the paragraphs. So here we have the three paragraphs. They each have their own class. And with jQuery, you can use the each method to loop through and do something to each one of those. So I'm just going to write them out, write out some information here with the console.log statement. We can here, we get index. This is something that gets passed into the function. So we're going to say index. And then I also want to write out the content of each one of these paragraphs. So let's just change what's written inside here so we can actually see that it is going to be coming up as the first, second, and third paragraphs. Changing the content there. And inside of here, inside the each loop, if you want to target each one of those items from here, what we're going to do is we use the dollar sign selector with this. That is going to target the individual paragraphs inside of this loop. Then we can call the jQuery text method to extract that text. So I'll save it. We'll come back here and there we have it. There's zero, one, and two being written out in the console. Those are the three numbers, the index numbers, and here's the text. And you can see first, second, and third. So that's, that's working. Now, jQuery Rehab, we want to look at the way to do this with vanilla JavaScript. So instead of the dollar sign selector, we're using query selector all. We're going to target all the paragraphs inside main, same way we did here. It's the exact same CSS selector. P is going to be our array or our node list, all these paragraphs. JavaScript has a built-in method for node lists called for each. Inside of here, we have, again, a function. This function is going to be called once for each of the items inside this paragraph. Item and index. Those are the first two parameters that get passed into this function. Now I've used an ES6 arrow function. This could be the same traditional function as you're used to, like this if you want. That's going to do the exact same thing. I prefer to use the arrow functions. Just a little bit less verbose. Inside of here, I'm going to write out the same thing. I'm going to console log index. And then item, instead of dollar sign this, item will be the individual paragraphs that are inside of here. And I want to get the text, which is going to be the built-in property called text content. Text content on item, this is going to do the exact same thing as this right here. Okay, and here we have it. So the first time through, this is the one that was happening with the each loop that you get as part of jQuery. And then the next one here, the 012, this is the one that's being done with vanilla JavaScript. And that's all there is to it. So very simple substitution. The for each method that's built into JavaScript, the query selector method that's built into JavaScript means that we don't have to use any of this. Don't have to use the jQuery. We don't have to bring in that library. We're just working with the DOM and native JavaScript directly. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will save a copy of this as a code gist and put the link in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.